Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's a Feel Good Friday, as yeah. you can see, Jay. Friday, and I baby. our first day at work, and we are here next to Graham Richards, everybody. Hello. Ah, big uh, news. Uh, massive news. It is a Friday indeed, even more so because this weekend it's a Rugby World Cup final. After six weeks, 46 matches featuring 20 world-class rugby teams. The standard has been incredibly high. We are now going to see the Rugby World Cup final live on the SABC. Oh. And, of course, this has been brought together by an amazing team. Let's meet them. A very good morning to you, Expresso family. We are coming to you live from the SABC this morning, talking all things 2019 Rugby World Cup final. Man, it's been such an enthralling, exciting, dramatic uh, 46 matches leading up to the final. And of course, our boys have done us proud. The Springboks are going up against uh, England in Yokohama tomorrow. And if you know your rugby history, you know that it's not the first time we're meeting the English in a Rugby World Cup. No, we did it in 2007 and managed to beat them 15-6 to walk away with the coveted Web Ellis a Cup. And of course, if you're wondering where to catch the game, you can catch it right here on SABC. And that is why we're coming to you live from the headquarters of the public broadcaster this morning to discuss with us a little bit about how this partnership between Heineken and the SABC was born. And I'm joined right now by Heineken marketing managers for South Africa, um, Lauren Miller. And Lauren, I must say, it's such an exciting weekend for us South Africans. I mean, not only have we made it to the final, but now South Africans have the opportunity, or rather more South Africans have the opportunity to uh, watch the game on the public broadcast now that this partnership has come about. Talk to us a little bit about how Heineken has been involved in the Rugby World Cup as a whole. Of course. I mean, Heineken continues to celebrate one of the most recognizable um, and long-standing partnerships in sport, um, a partnership with Rugby World Cup that spans more than 20 years. Um, we're really all about bringing enjoyment to all our fans across all our sponsorship platforms, and the Rugby World Cup is no different. And I guess that's the reason that you've partnered with the SABC to bring it to the masses, to South Africans. Talk to us a little bit about how that partnership was born. Absolutely. Um, as official worldwide partner to the tournament, uh, we heard South Africa's call um, and partnered with the SABC to bring the match um, free to air to all South African homes. Um, you know, at Heineken, believe, we believe that the Rugby World Cup really is for everyone and that everybody deserves to stand up and cheer um, for you know this tournament and for this epic match that's about to happen <laughs> absolutely lauren and having said that what do you think it means for south africans to be able to watch the final between england and south africa on the public broadcaster well, I think it's incredibly special. Um, you know, I think that it, it, it's, a, it's about the fans at the end of the day. And of course, for us to give the opportunity to 57 million South Africans to really stand up and cheer and support their country, um, it's quite special. And I think it means a lot to all South Africans to have the opportunity um, to do this and to watch the game on Saturday. Now, Heineken's campaign tagline for the 2019 Rugby World Cup has been, you don't need to know the rules to enjoy the Rugby World Cup. Talk to us a little bit about that. Sure. Um, it's quite an interesting insight and idea, I guess, because so, I believe, you know, while many believe that Rugby World Cup is really only for diehard fans, um, Heineken believes that during Rugby World Cup, everyone is a fan, and you really don't need to know the rules to enjoy the game. And that's really the spirit and the, you know, behind the idea and how we've kind of carried that through throughout the campaign. I'm sure a lot of people watching right now are wondering exactly which channel can we catch the game on. So which channel can we watch the Rugby World Cup on tomorrow? Yeah, so through the partnership, with SABC. Um, the broadcast will be, um, I think today, the third place playoffs between um, New Zealand and Wales. And of course, the final tomorrow, South Africa versus England um, on TV, on SABC, as well as across 11 SABC radio stations. So really creating the opportunity for South Africans to watch and listen um, and support their team in, in, in their mother tongue. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot here, Lauren, and ask you, what are your score predictions for that much-anticipated final between the box and England? Oh, yeah, you know, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be pretty tight. Um, I think it's two very well-deserving teams that have made it into the final. Um, and I think that, like I said, I think it's going to be quite tight. I'm going to go with possibly a 15-12 or 15-9. Um, yeah, but let's see how it goes. And I'm sure you've been following the Rugby World Cup quite closely, seeing that Heineken is so involved and invested in it. What would you say has been a standout moment this year for you? 
Well, you know, I think the whole tournament has actually been quite incredible. Um, and, I, and I can't say there's one particular moment. I have to say, though, that I do think that the, the fact that the tournament is being broadcast or being hosted in a non-traditional rugby nation like Japan is actually quite unique and quite different. It talks really to the inclusivity um, of rugby and how it really is for everyone and how everyone can get, in, get involved in the game. Um, yeah, as unexpected as it is. And uh, what has Heineken got planned for the final tomorrow? Yes, of course. So uh, we have an epic viewing experience planned tomorrow in Johannesburg um, at Ananda Club. And of course, in true Heineken style, it's more than just about the Rugby World Cup final. Um, it's about featuring some of South Africa's favorite artists. And of course, the opportunity to meet and greet and mingle with some of South Africa's rugby legends. That sounds very exciting. Thank you very much, Lauren. Thank you, too. As you've heard from Lauren herself, I mean, you can catch the Rugby World Cup at so many venues at the Inanda Club. Or if you're at home, you can catch it right here on SABC. We are going to be rallying behind our boys 100% to make sure that once again, history repeats itself like it did in 2007, and we bring that William Webb Ellis Cup back home. Right now, it's back to you guys in studio. Oh, thank you so much, a team, man. Thank you so much for the team at Heineken. Um, I'm so glad that there is this kind of like fan fervor around the World mm, Cup. It's all yeah. about those, those fan park-esque type experiences, but it is such a massive thing that we can, as every South African now, watch the rugby on free to air. A massive, massive, massive boost. So thank you so much to their team for making it all possible yeah. um, and for connecting with us this morning, getting us even more pumped and excited about the Rugby oh. World Cup final at South Africa up against England at sea. We can get a few more details in our news headlines.